How much has yeah. Bullet Club changed your life? Um, I, I, I mean, it's definitely put a lot of uh, a lot of cash in my pocket for sure. So it's changed <laughs> me a lot financially. <laughs> sure. You know, so uh, that's that's number one. But uh, just just my um, perception of wrestling of how it should be and how it can be. Um, it's changed. So it, it, I really applied a lot of what I learned in the military into that group. Hmm. Uh, this teamwork and adaptation and, and overcoming and, and keep moving. You know, if you, if you look at the beginning of bullet club, you know, the guns, the whole, that we were very mil, uh, military style. I was putting a lot of my military, um, uniqueness into it you know if that made sense um yeah a lot <laughs> if, we, if we take it back what were the original discussions around forming this faction around calling it bullet club like where did those conversations begin um we were approached that um the boss came up and said we want to put you guys together the foreigners it was actually prince david finn balor now uh, with talk of, with uh, bad luck folly and um, we were the only foreigners besides Tenzai uh, that were in New Japan so we were always hanging out all the time and you know uh, they said look we're going to put you guys together you know you can see you guys are very you guys got great chemistry outside the ring we'll see what happens in the ring and it was just natural um Prince David was going to be the front man. He was getting, uh, he was leveling up from juniors to heavy. And so to, he needed a support group. So Fale was on this excursion from Missouri. They brought him back. He was going to be his bodyguard. And me and Carl Anderson, I was more, uh, I was like uh, Carl Anderson's second. So I would just like be with him always. He's like my mentor. And uh so Prince David, Fale were together first, and then me and Carl Anderson came in second. The first name that was brought up, um, I didn't have no say in, in, in the name. You know, I, I was just like, all right, tell me what to do, and I'll do it, you know, whatever you guys need from me. So, But Prince David was thinking of calling it <laughs> the Bullet Brigade. And, uh, and Fale was like, oh, Brigade sounds, you know, what, what if you called it Club because father's from New Zealand and he played professional rugby in clubs is a thing. Is that, yeah. 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 So bullet, that's where bullet club came, you know? So took that and ran with it. And here's se but seven years. I forgot years. what your question was. <laughs> that's the talking. I forgot. I, that was it. You answered the entire question. <laughs> What is it, seven years now? On. <laughs> it's, it's been seven years now? Seven years, yeah. Wow. I mean, obviously, you had no idea it was going to turn into what it's turned into. You know what? A lot of people ask me, you know, did you know Bullet Club was going to be the way, in like, the, as, as successful as it is now? And my answer is yes. Did I know it was going to take this route? No. Right. But, you know, I think if you saw something, I mean, uh, I'm very, man, we, we got to do it no matter what, you know, and I knew, I knew it was going to be successful. I just didn't know how successful, you know. You don't, you don't have to name names. We can if you want, but have you had people who have been like, come on, man, let, let me, let me, yeah, let me be part of this thing. I see how successful you guys are, are, are being. Come on, share some of this with me. Um, no one's ever said it like that <laughs> or you know uh, but i i know people want to be in it you know but at the beginning i think we just kind of started letting people in <laughs> this coming in no matter what but it wasn't really our decision at the beginning um but we we learned a lot in those first three four years and then after that we start okay we gotta do this carefully and and uh, we didn't want it to kind of end up like how, not a knock on NWO, but how NWO was. And it's kind of like. Yeah, there's so many members. Like, yeah. yeah, so many members. Yeah. You know, there's a, I think there's a way to do that where we can have so many members, but keep it not going where it's just a mess. You know, I think there's a way to do that. 
Well, if you have 46 members, doesn't that mean that you have to split all the royalties 46 ways? Uh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but if you're gonna, if there's going to be 46 members in there, I better see 46 people them earning something for Bullet Club. <laughs> money. <laughs> They're putting the damn work. Y'all can't just come in and surf, bro. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Do the do the, the former members still get a cut of the royalties, or are they? Hell no. Okay. The hell for. All right. <laughs> <laughs> it's not putting it putting in work, y'all go. <laughs> shit, none of y'all can get y'all can kiss my ass. <laughs> what was your take on WWE's version of the club? <laughs> um, you know, it's just like anything else, just like. Mexico's LIJ that became LIJ of Japan. It's just like the hurt business or the the mob, whatever. You know, it's any it's hey, when you're doing something so good, it, I everybody wants to copy it. That's and that's a nod to us, you know, and I'm I'm okay with that. But you ain't gonna do it like us though. <laughs> you know, so it's all good. It's all good. I ain't, got, I ain't got no hate for that. Y'all can keep trying. That's it. The Bullet Club logo has become as legendary as like NWO's logo, as legendary mm -hmm. as DX's mm -hmm. logo. Mm -hmm. Who was it that came up with that? New Japan. New Japan designer. And ah. they, they put it together because the, the first logo was shit. It was just like a bullet. And then <laughs> and we're like, all right, we'll try to make it work. But the reason how they came, the, how they came up with that the infamous one. Um, Gallows, when we used to dress up in military fatigues, he used to paint down the black down his eye right here. And then, um, you know, because of our uh, military style, that's where the two guns came in like this. Um, and that that's really it. It was, a, it was our military style. Because that, that, that skull with the open, like it's like a gap right here. That's gallows all the way, and I knew that, and I just—I think they just saw our whole thing together and just started to put it all together, and it, bam, you know. 